Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Microsoft Flight Sim, where I'm taking a look at the OV-10A Bronco, recently released to FlightSim.to by Ariababa, that's A-R-I-E-B-A-B-A, -B -A -B -A, and it is freeware. And it is an interesting plane, I don't have another variant of it in any other simulator right now, uh, so I am glad to see it here. I sort of have a policy of trying to fly every single kind of plane I can in sims, and we have a Navy, U.S. Air Force, and Marine livery here. Uh, I would have liked the NASA livery because it does also operate the Bronco and hopefully we'll get one, maybe, possibly. I'm lobbying for it, that's why I'm starting at the Cape Canaveral skid strip. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so the comments in uh, for the mod on flightsim.to uh, said that it was a little bit underpowered, especially in warm weather and with high takeoff weights, but I haven't really noticed that. Uh, so we're, we're gonna max it out and see how it goes. though. The external fuel tank seems to be very prodigious. I mean, uh, that's impressive amounts of external fuel that it can carry. So we'll take a look at that and see how it goes. And apparently it can carry more than that with the payload. It only has two, other, uh, two passengers listed as potential payloads, so they'd have to be pretty heavy to max this out. But all right, so... Given that, we are going to take off from the skid strip and see how it goes. I have already taken off with it, though I haven't flown it around too much. I just wanted to make sure it worked before trying to record a video with it. This is the first aircraft created by Ariababa. It said down there. And it is a pretty good effort for a first aircraft. Okay, so this is how it looks internally. And a fairly typical instruments, a little bit of wear, a tasteful amount of wear. Actually, it's very well done as far as the textures are concerned facing forward here. Uh, it looks very convincing and at just the right amount of weathering on the edges of those styles. Um, I've seen worse from payware planes, definitely. So yeah, this is excellent. Very surprising. And on the outside, we have here the Navy livery. And this too is very good, the ugly duckling. And we've got rocket pods and a big old external fuel tank and fuel tanks in on the wings there as well. So okay, so this is pretty fully loaded, so let's see how it flies, because it was pretty sprightly the last time I flew with it, but I didn't have all the external fuel. So let's see. It's a little bit wiggly on the ground, but not too bad. And yeah, I mean, maybe uh, for a very short takeoff sort of expectation, it might be a problem, but it gets off the ground at like 110 knots, which is pretty good. The flaps take a little bit of time to go up. It uh, very much maneuvers quite well. It was used as an attack aircraft, multi-purpose. I mean, obviously NASA doesn't use it as an attack aircraft. But we go inside, we can sort of see it. it. It does beep when you go to be a little bit too far, but it's certainly fun to fly. Uh, and actually, uh, sort of wobbles when it's doing something wrong, more or less how I would expect it to. When it's light, it's really, really maneuverable. But uh, it sort of wobbles a little bit as it tries to uh, center itself again after I've done a really extreme maneuver. And that's right, and very few planes made for flights and actually do that. So, um, yeah, I'm pleased by that. It does have apparently a fire extinguishing bottle, and I don't know if I push the engines too far whether that will be necessary or not. But, I mean, Taking a look at the temperature, I have got them past the red line on the temperature gauge there. And the engine torque's pretty high. 
It looks like just backing off a little bit is good enough. It does have a red light there. Yep, that is the temperature. And maybe I should actually go much slower. Though the red line, as far as speed is concerned, is very high. Boop, boop, boop. It's all the way at 350 knots there. So can I do a pretty steep dive? Does it have... It doesn't have any form of speed brakes. Probably just the flaps would do. Nothing on the pad here right now. Oh. I guess there's a mobile launch platform there. There is a Falcon Heavy on 39A right now. Yeah, it looks pretty spiffy flying around here. A bit choppy there. That's not its fault. It's the scenery's fault. Yeah, I was going really fast by it. You have the cockpit at the VAB. Really looks good. Really looks good. I might as well be flying by the VAB. It looks this good. Well, I guess if we gotta take a look at the visitor center, I should slow down a bit. Oh, there's the rocket garden. Yeah, uh, oh, there it is. This for it's this, this one B's right there. Okay, just checking. All right, all looking very good. All right, so I'm just gonna line it back at the skid strip. And yeah, it's a very fun plane to fly, and feels very realistic overall. I have not seen the interior of an OV-10 Bronco, so I can't verify that there is exact- Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, it, its nose wheel is sort of like that. Um, yeah, it stops real fast. Uh, but this is certainly good enough for me, and I I, I would trust it. <laughs> I would trust that this is exactly... Well, it looks like we're pretty close. Yeah, it, it definitely sort of noses down on landing there. Caught me by surprise, but it definitely has a very good view of the runway. Lots of guns, too. Alright, so yeah, the OB-10 Bronco available on FlightSim.to by Ariabama. And it's it's quite a winner. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.